I'm David Lehman. A sestina is an exotic form that dates back to the medieval period and a Provençal poet named Arnaud Daniel. It, it consists of 39 lines divided into seven stanzas, six of which contain six lines and the last stanza three lines. Six words conclude all 39 lines and have to appear in a predetermined order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, if we thus de designate the end words of the first stanza reappear as uh, six, one, five, two, four, three in the second stanza. And uh, the same formula is applied to succeeding stanzas until in the triplet that concludes the poem, the original six words are reiterated in the same order as when you began. And uh, it's actually a uh, uh, harder thing to describe than it is to do in some ways, like walking. I like writing sestinas in different ways. Uh, one of my sestinas that is in uh, Dan Nestor's incredible sestina anthology is called Operation Memory. And I, I began by writing a, a stanza. It was on my 38th birthday. I, I wrote six lines. And I noticed uh, there are six lines, and I can work with these n-words, so I made a sestina out of it. But on other occasions, you begin with six n-words that you want to manipulate for the uh, length of a sestina. Or on yet other occasions, I uh, rose to a challenge. Uh, someone, an editor of Open City, Joanna Yaz, said to me, could you write two sestinas on demand? Uh, I'll give you the table of contents, and you have to uh, base your sestina on the table of contents and you have like 72 hours to write the sestina. And I love challenges, uh, many poets do, so that was yet another way of doing it. I think Dan Nestor had a very original uh, perception when he said that the sestina resembles the spiral in, in, in its shape. It's uh, also an ideal form for narrative or argument because the last word of any stanza is the last word of the first line of the subsequent stanza. The oddest, the oddest thing to me about the history of the Sistina is that it had a distinguished uh, life in Middle Ages and Renaissance and then was dormant until the 20th century essentially or until the late 19th century. But it really caught on in, in, in the 20th century and Elizabeth Bishop has a has a pair, a very fine, and uh, Anthony Hecht has a very good one. Ezra Pound has a famous one. Ashbery went to town with uh, the Sestina form. James Merrill wrote an inventive one. And I think that with the proliferation of creative writing workshops in the 1970s and since, the Sestina has become sort of a staple. Uh, Everyone writes them, um, and you can see why. It's a great exercise, and uh, uh, someone joked that uh, about a restaurant, saying nobody eats there anymore, it's too crowded. And uh, you could say that in a way about the Sistina, that uh, you have a very crowded field. It, it, it doesn't seem like a new idea anymore, yet people write them, like uh, diners at that crowded restaurant. They're very uh, attracted to it. And I, I can see why. It's a very contagious form. I've, I've collaborated with a man named J Jim Cummins, who's a Sestina maestro, and we found it was a great form to correspond with. He would write a Sestina like a letter, and I, I wrote back a Sestina, and we corresponded that way, and we wound up writing a book. And uh, it's called When uh, Jim and Dave Defeat the Masked Man. So we had a great time. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a form that looks very difficult, but is actually very inviting.